Our spotlight story tonight is about Soap Lake's Margaret Worthington and her hobby. Reporter Jeff Chu visited with Margaret and has the story. Don't let that gentle grandmotherly demeanor fool you. At 75, Margaret Worthington of Soap Lake is a serious martial artist. Many of the youths at Black Hill Martial Arts Dojo inside the You'll Be Fit Gym in Soap Lake have great respect for Margaret, many who see her as an inspiration. Actually, one of the best memories I have of this dojo is me walking in the door and you stepping up and being the first person to take me under your wing. You do that with every student. And it was so, I was so thankful for that. Margaret shared how she ended up in a dojo full of young karate students who fondly call her grandma. After my husband passed, I just found it something that I needed to do to keep myself occupied. Always wanted to be take karate. I'm sports minded, really. And so I've always wanted to take karate. And because I had a little brother that was the first to be black belt. And I said, someday, on my bucket list, I'm going to do that. Two years ago, I, my granddaughter, Rita, she joined, and I sit in for a couple of classes to watch, and I uh, thought, I can do that. So I donned on my gear, and here I am. Margaret is learning karate under the watchful eye of her sensei and Soap Lake Director of Public Safety, Glenn Quantz. She plans to work toward her black belt, the highest achievement in karate. Already a green belt after two years, she is almost halfway there. Through her actions, Margaret has closed the age gap in the class. Her granddaughter and Soap Lake Middle School 7th grader Rita Worthington, who had a hand in getting Margaret to join the class, said she is proud of her grandmother's accomplishments. I'm really happy because after my grandpa passed away, I just really thought she needed something to get her motivated again because she was really depressed for the longest time. So I was like, I wish you join martial arts. She was kind of hesitant about it before uh, at first, and then I just kind of like I was like, come on, grandma, you know. So she she tried it out and she really liked it. Um, we get a lot of bumps and bruises, but it's really fun. At this point in her learning process, Margaret says she feels she could easily defend herself. I felt kind of out of place at first because I mean. Age difference is a gap. I'm 75 and they're all youngsters and I thought, but you know, why not? She explained how the class has helped her mind and body. More or less to keep myself in, in, in shape and to keep active, to keep my mind motivated because, I mean, it was a major loss after 56 years of marriage and then boom, one day he didn't come home. Sensei Glenn Quantz agreed that Margaret is a model of self-determination. She's just kept going and going, and you see the respect that she has from the other students. Maybe she can't do some jumping, leaping, spinning, this, that, or the other, but you know what? They all respect her when she's out on the mat. They, they, they know that she's a force to be reckoned with. One advantage to having Margaret in the class is she shares her lifelong experience and wisdom with her karate family. There's always bumps and rocks in the road. You try to move those rocks, go over those bumps, and um, move straight ahead. And like I said, told you before, never look back because you can't bring back yesterday. I'm Jeff Chu for i 5 one News. We will be right back after this.